All right, so um, this is topic 18, but before we start, this is a question from topic 17, which is probably the most important topic because it kind of involves everything. And uh, answer this question, pause the video. Here comes the answer, so if you're not ready, just pause. We know forces are balanced. That means this cannot happen. You need unbalanced forces to accelerate. If an object can't accelerate, it can't change speed, nor can it change direction. So remember, just like the bowling ball was resisting change in direction just as much as it was resisting change in speed. So constant velocity or zero velocity is true if you know this. This is on page 29, describing inertia. And what I want you to do is I want you to draw the page into, um, this is about a third of the page, pretty big, a four square comic strip. This is mostly practice for an extra credit assignment that you'll have available to you. And here's example number one. Whoa! Ah, pff, oh, blood everywhere. Oh. Okay, a little uncalled for. That's super fun. So, what I want you to do is this is going to be box number one. The skateboarder riding towards Little Rock. And here is your caption. The skateboard and rider have constant velocity. That means there's zero acceleration and zero net force. Pause the video so you can draw that. Here's part two. Cruising, cruising, cruising. Uh-oh, my guy's stuck. So part two is right here. Unbalanced force backwards stops skateboard only. Mass of rider, that's supposed to be rider, feels no unbalanced force. Here's part three. And now you'll draw him a little bit above the skateboard with part three's info. Rider does not feel unbalanced force, continues to move at constant velocity. Sad face. Part four should be hitting the wall and boosh. Oh man. Unbalanced force from wall stops Rider. And we can even add quickly <laughs> and painfully. And that's comic strip number one. So what we've done is we've taken the sentence, a guy hits a rock and falls off skateboard and we've made it technical and we've used our vocabulary and concepts from this topic, from this unit, in order to describe what's happening. And that's going to be your test question. I'll show you a video or give you a scenario and you'll have to describe what's happening. Last one. This is only going to be a two slide. You can use another third of the page with two slides. Part one. Whoa. Okay, back to normal. Part one. Coach V's car is sitting motionless on train tracks. Forces are balanced, so the net force equals zero. Acceleration equals zero. Velocity equals zero, which means it's stationary. Or another vocab word, dynamic equilibrium. Sorry, static. And then guess what's going to happen? Here comes the train. Ah, oh my gosh, I'm dead. Okay, part two. 
Force applied by Thomas the train creates unbalanced force on car. Car accelerates to the right. The car doesn't have enough mass to resist the train's force. If the car were way bigger than the train, maybe the train stops just like it, as if it were to hit a wall. But the car is too small, so the force from the train accelerates it to the right. Here's your assignment. Oh, well, you just saw the answer. Too late for that. You can read that question and try it again or see if it makes sense. And here's your assignment. On page 26, make two of your own comics that have these two scenarios. Comics need to be large and in color and explain motion and changes using vocabulary below.